Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Witton Bassett in the UK. In today's video, we've got these giant boxes with coins we've recently bought at our coin shop. They will filter onto our website and eBay shop over time, and there'll be links in the description of this video if you'd like to check out any of the coins already listed. If you do see something in this video you quite like the look of that's not already listed on our website though, you can always get in touch with us about it directly. So let's look through this collection. We're going to start with this pile of cardboard boxes. Well, these boxes are all marked 19 1977, so probably Queen Elizabeth II's Silver Jubilee, but it's always worth having a peek because sometimes we do get them from different territories. Gibraltar, Falkland Islands, Jersey, Guernsey. Uh, we are three for three on the UK Silver Jubilee coin so far though. So it's the design that inspired the alternative portrait on the Platinum Jubilee 50 pence. But no, all UK ones there. We've got a few more of the similar boxes. So we've got proof versions of the UK's entrance into the EEC, 50 pence, 1973. They're pretty cool. This is a rather large box. A medal struck in celebration of the 25th anniversary of the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. Wow, so silver jubilee medal. We've got Westminster Abbey there. Can we turn it over? We certainly can. There's the coronation throne on this side, which we recently saw in the coronation of King Charles III as well, so it's a very nice medal. Into the next box. Uh, this is the Charles and Diana silverproof wedding crown. And then this beigey box. We've got a crown of some description. Uh, so it's the Queen Mother's 80th birthday crown. And in this box. 1989 £2 silverproof coin set. Oh, very nice. So this is the claim and the bill of rights. This is back when the £2 coin were the single metal larger coins before they became those bimetallic coins we use in our change in circulation to this day. Uh, the claim rights itself is a pretty scarce coin, hard to come by. It's got a nice little price tag on it. So that's a cool coin to come across. And the last coin in this handful, 90th birthday of the Queen Mother. Another stunning design on that five pound coin. I know Christmas is a ways off still, but uh, we have some seasonal greeting packages. Well, we've got a whole assortment of these single metal two pound coins. The Peace Dove, it's a lovely design to have. And a few more two pound coins. This marked the tercentenary or 300th anniversary of the Bank of England. Another selection of loose coins, uh, another Peace Dove, that's the United Nations and the European uh, Championship single metal two pound coins. Uh, a couple of five pound coins, that's the Queen's birthday five pound coin uh, silver jubilee crown that's another one of her birthday uh, that is the d-day commemorative 50 pence uh, this one here though queen elizabeth the queen mother five pound coin from guernsey 1995 whoops very cool and we've got some Britannias as well, which are very, very nice. Um, these are very popular with silver stackers, investors. By, these are bullion coins, so struck to a lower quality than a proof coin, but still a nicer quality than a circulator coin. Uh, they focus on the efficiency of striking these so that the cost to a buyer is a smaller margin over the price of the metal. And these five coins are again single metal two pound coins. This is the United Nations anniversary commemorative. That coin there is the Coronation Crown. It's a very cool coin. You might recognize this design here because that was minted onto a 50 pence coin and released in memorial to Queen Elizabeth II. Obviously a change in the dates either side of the leak uh, in 2022, but it's a very cool coin. And in this box, we're gonna have another interesting crown. So this is to mark the Festival of, of Britain, 1951. We've got the Benedetto Pistrucci, George slaying the dragon. And on the obverse, we have, of course, King George VI. And we've got 10 coins here, five each of the bill and the claim of rights. They look a bit weird though. Um, unfortunately, they have undergone some pretty drastic toning because of the packaging they were kept in. This PVC plastic has uh, affected the coins over the many years it's been sat in there. So uh, reminder just to be careful of what you're storing your coins in. There's another Bank of England two pound coin. These two coins are quite exciting. They are two sovereigns, uh, 1974. Lovely bits of gold, wonderful to have in your collection. And again, popular with investors buying these gold coins and hoping that the uh, price of gold continues to rise. Then we've got a stack of these five pound crowns, which are all minted in 1993 for the anniversary of the Queen Elizabeth II's coronation. And then an enormous pile of the Queen Mother 80th birthday, 25 pence crowns there. 
And some more 25p crowns, this is a huge stack of the Silver Jubilee Cooper Nickel crowns. And then a pile of the Cooper Nickel 25p crowns marking the wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer. And these are 2002's Golden Jubilee five pound crowns. It's got a lovely portrait of the Queen on horseback and to the side, a one-off portrait of Her Majesty too. And we've got one last pile of coins. We're gonna go through the second box in next week's video, so be sure to tune in for that. We start with a collection of the crowns. We've seen them all individually, some in silver proof. Uh, so some of them, these you will recognize. Churchill crown and the silver wedding anniversary for the wedding of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip. Uh, we haven't seen so far, but a nice little set for the different crowns. And then these Olympic coins are quite cool. They were released one a year to mark the countdown to the London Olympic Games. So this is 2009 with three years to go. Then 2010 with only two years to go. 2011 with one year to go. This is obviously the year where all those Olympic 50Ps got circulated to. And then this one was released in 2012 for the start of the games. These coins are the first two pound coins. Well, modern two pound coins as we know it, we will ignore the double sovereigns. Uh, this was minted to mark the Commonwealth Games held in Edinburgh. I think we saw the silver proof version of this coin earlier. This is the Queen Mother's 90th birthday coin in brilliant uncirculated condition. Brilliant uncirculated coins are a step up from those you'll find in circulation out in our change. They're struck to a higher quality with more force for collectors. They're a great starting point for collectors to start the hobby. And we got a mystery black box. Oh, it's got a Churchill crown in it. I was just saying we haven't seen any of those so far. Will this be another Churchill crown? <laughs> it certainly is. Well, there's another Golden Jubilee five pound coin. And then these I quite like. It's 2003's anniversary of the coronation. If we've, if we've got this sort of stylized writing, God save the queen, if we flip it over, we've got a beautiful stylized portrait of the queen to match that of the writing. I think it's a really clever design. Well, these five pound coins were minted to mark uh, Prince Charles's birthday. There is some unfortunate discoloration on them. Uh, they've been kept in this sort of cardboard packaging. And I think the uh, over time, colour in the ink or whatever is in the cardboard has leaked onto them and they're a little bit stained yellow in places which is a shame. And then these are the golden wedding anniversary five pound crowns. Again they're kept in the same sort of cardboard sleeves and uh, unfortunately that sort of same toning has affected them but uh, it's a lovely portrait of the Queen and Prince Philip to the obverse of these coins. And then three more five pound coins. These were minted for the 100th birthday of the Queen Mother. So naturally we've got the Queen Mother on the reverse and her daughter, Queen Elizabeth II, on the obverse. Quite cool, it's got uh, the Queen Mother's signature at the bottom, which is quite cool because in the Platinum Jubilee year, a set of three five pound coins were released with Queen Elizabeth II's signature, and they do have quite similar signatures. And then we've got three copies of this coin, which was released to mark the death of Lady Diana Spencer. And we'll wrap off with this pile of five pound crowns. So this was minted to mark an anniversary for Queen Victoria. So naturally we have Queen Victoria on the reverse, and I believe it's crystal, a stylized design of a Crystal Palace behind. If we turn it over, naturally we've got Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse, as it was during her reign that these coins were minted. So we've got images of two of our longest reigning monarchs in history on this one coin, which is really, really cool. Let me know in the comments what you'd pick as the star coins from this collection. I think it's got to be those sovereigns. They're really exciting to handle and see. Do check out the links in the comments over to our website for any of the coins that you've liked the look of, that you'd like to add to your own collection, and for anything not already listed, as I said, you can get in touch with us about it. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. It's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. We also have a giveaway running which is going to end on Friday, so be sure to go back to our video about the Star Wars 50Ps in order to enter that giveaway prize draw. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins. We're on TikTok and Twitter. We have our shop and online store and I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.